Hello everyone, this is Rocco reporting at you. I literally just downloaded and installed the 36.8.10 update. We are taking a quick trip into town. Uh, I'm in rural Western North Carolina. And so this is gonna be a good dark, wet, rainy road test. Um, as you can see, these are really snows. Nothing really different here. Uh, I'm not sure there's really anything that different. I, th I don't know if this is the same. We're gonna have to compare. I will do that and see if it's different from uh, before. See, so it says FSD might be degrading. That's because it's super dark out here and it's wet. Sure, we're going to the right one. <laughs> yep, got some cars coming here. Okay, we're good to go. That was a good turn. This road is 55 mile an hour and it is very rainy. Well, very dark and rainy. I'm actually not sure. I would go this fast on this road right now. I'm gonna turn it down the speed a little bit. This is also a very curvy road. You couldn't tell from the map. That is another thing saying features might be limited. Um, I think that strictly means it's not going to change lanes because it's dark AF <laughs> out here. We're quite out in the middle of nowhere, if you will. There's no lights. You can see the stars, everything. So it's very dark. And I, I drove up the other morning. I didn't record any videos of that. But um, I got these messages constantly that the cameras were blocked or blinded or whatever. But it's just strictly that it's so dark out that the cam the side cameras can't see. Let's bring up the side cameras. Like, look, the the lights from the rear tail lights on the uh, run lights can barely light up the road right there. So it's so dark that it can hardly see. I and mean, I'm sure the V pillars can't see at all. So it's, uh, it's very dark. And that brings up the question whether or not does that really matter because quite frankly like if I look to my left or I look behind me I'm like I can't see the road behind me. Like, I, I think it's like oh that's a problem that I can't see. Is it? I can't see like out to my side barely. I can't see behind me. Um, so I, how much does it really matter? Uh, I, I think any place that's going to have turns, uh, is going to be somewhat lit. I think I'm trying, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that would have any substantial, um, uh, amount of lane changes and stuff and not, um, uh, show, it's essentially not, um, have, um, lights. Yeah. Okay, so speed limit is wrong on this road. I've only been on this road a couple times before I've driven it once, but um uh yeah, I think it's actually, it might be a 45 mile an hour road, um, but we're going to go 35. I believe that's a standard speed limit around here. Um, so it is doing surprisingly well on these uh, roads. Like these conditions, I can hardly see the road sometimes, especially when you have oncoming lights from another car. I am very impressed tonight. And obviously it's not perfect, mind you, it's very much not perfect. But I don't think I've had any phantom braking, maybe once which is very surprising. Like, 
uh, it and it stayed quite fast going around curves like for a lot of people it would be uncomfortable to me it's totally comfortable I'm, I'm used to fast go, um, curves it's totally okay with me um, but for a lot of people I think my mom would be uncomfortable going as fast as this car was going around some of the curves especially at night I'm, I, I think the car is doing awesome compared to just relatively speaking uh, to previous drives. It's doing quite well. I'm very happy. Okay, so if it wasn't for that road right there, it would have gone off the road. Um, so that, I'm actually going to press the camera button. That was the worst mistake it's made so far this drive. And I think that's strictly because it's just, it's, it's going faster around curves. It, it, it's I find that to be a greater positive than a negative because when you're used to going around curves at a higher speed you live in the mountains and you're just used to it this is how the car needs to drive and it's probably because I, I believe I have it set to go 5 over with the speed limit I believe the speed limit on this road is really 35 not 25 of course incorrect map data um, but so yeah so it's going a little bit faster than probably the car is comfortable with doing but we're pushing the limits See how it does at this turn here. Okay, we got a stop sign. Very smooth stop, very smooth. No track. Oh, there is a car coming. I'm probably. It stopped, holy crap! That's fantastic! I think it noticed a light. Oh, okay, actually, I need to see what that message said. I think it said, asked me to tell it to go. I think they've changed, they've reverted to asking me to confirm now uh, to go. That might have been why it, why it actually stopped there. Because uh, I, I can, as a human, I can see the um, traffic light. <laughs> the headlights coming around the corner. So I knew there was a car coming. As a human, I could tell there was a car coming. Uh, so that's something... Yeah, and that car cut out kind of in front of us and it, it reacted appropriately it kind of slowed just a tiny bit but no as a human i uh, i knew there was a car coming i don't know if the car recognized the lights or if it's because it was waiting because uh, it knew it was a turn and it was like please confirm to turn at this um or something or what that you know standard message uh, okay um i swerved a little bit there that was not a good behavior um, but it didn't go far, like, far enough over for me to, like, warrant a disengagement. It is also very windy out right now. We, we have a big, this is the storm that went through that had the huge tornadoes in Missouri and everything. This is just coming through us right now. The mountains break it up a lot, so it's nowhere near as bad. Uh, but we, we do have a lot of rain today and quite a lot of wind. Uh, which is normal for the mountains, but this is um, is a is a cold front coming through. So it's um, oh okay. I actually don't know where I'm going, but we're gonna follow the GPS. <laughs> everything, all the turns and everything are very and slowdowns are very smooth. Um, I'm very happy with that. A little bit of hesitancy right there, but be honest, like the car can see better, the cameras can see better at night. But as a human, like I can't see the road when an oncoming car has its headlights blaring at me, especially a truck. Trucks are up higher, so they glare even more. I I can't see the road at all. I can hardly see the median. Like I just kind of have to like really like just I just hope I'm going on the road basically. Like that's just kind of what happens on especially on a wet dark road like this you you can't see well cameras can actually see better um, surprisingly enough uh, in these type of conditions and if you play back a camera oh actually was was not do that oh. 
Well, everyone, that was <laughs> the only disengagement. Um, it didn't. It didn't turn wide enough. That sucks. That sucks. I mean, I could have maybe let it do it, but I was it was far too close to the curb. Far too uh, too close to the curb. Overall, um, I'm wow, wow. This update's been freaking amazing. Um, I don't yeah, I don't know what's supposed to be different about six three dot one. But it's, this was an awesome drive um, for me. And I'm gonna just park here in the middle of the parking lot. Yeah. If you guys have any questions for me, um, put them down below. Um, and actually, how long is this? 17, okay, yeah, right, we're gonna make this a single, single video. Um, but I'm incredibly happy. Uh, for a first test, especially in these conditions, it did very well. Please let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, uh, I'd appreciate if you give it a like or a even a subscribe if you want to see more of these. Appreciate you watching. Bye, everyone.